person that wants to come in and give you an apology. However, this person right now is in the process of like mustering up the courage or getting enough ammo to be able to come in because they know that however they left you or whatever they did to you, they're scared about your reaction. They're scared about the anger that and the lashing that they're going to get from you. Because with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like this person, they've grown up. Since the distance between the both of you, since the separation, they've been having their own trials and tribulations and it's been helping this person grow up and heal. They made a choice in the past. This choice did something that ended the relationship between the both of you. It's most likely that they either chose another person, they chose to be selfish, to take care of their own needs first and foremost, and this hurts you. It's like this person is fully aware that their own reckless choices hurt you in a way and that's what makes it so hard for them to return and they feel like i can't just come back empty-handed i can't come back without something substantial to show this person that i am truly sorry or i am really serious about you know changing my ways or changing the way that i, I operate um what this person did they may have involved other people they may have scapegoated you maybe even made you out to be the person that was at fault um and this person is regretting it like as you can see with the lovers this angel's holding the heart so this was someone that you care deeply about you really had good intentions for them from the beginning they didn't see this maybe they didn't recognize it maybe this person is used to wishy-washy inconsistent lovers or people in their life and when they had someone or something solid they didn't know how to hold on to it they mishandled you they didn't know how to deal with you in a proper manner. They played mind games with you, gaslighted you, um, even spread lies, gossip, deceit, ultimately forcing you to walk away or forcing you to push this pers person away, but they still are looking you up. They're still stalking you on social media, still trying to hear about you from third parties, maybe asking a friend of a friend to see whether you're even up to any type of reconciliation. Someone made a decision but what they didn't realize was that this decision was going to make them be stuck. If this was a lover, this was a lover that was used to just dropping people, replacing them, um, going on to others. They tried to do it to you, but they can't. Like, this person's stuck. They're stuck in their own thoughts. They're stuck in their own mind. They're stuck on the feelings, the emotions, because what you gave this person was real. It's so much more difficult to walk away from something that's real because the emotions are still present regardless of whether you both are in each other's presence or not you may be actively trying to drain out all the feelings and emotions and love that you had for this person whether they're a friend or a family member or someone that backstabbed you and betrayed because there's a heavy energy of defeat like someone feeling defeated and having multiple people chime in and add on to a plate that someone didn't even deserve it's like you got served a plate that you didn't deserve you did nothing in this situation. Like, yes, you're not perfect. Yes, you may have added on some fuel to the fire at certain points. But it's like, however you got treated by this group of people or by this person in particular who's the ringleader of this whole scenario, you did not deserve that at all. You may even still be in the process of healing, still in the process of letting go of certain emotions, letting go of a certain outcome, trying to go out and distract yourself, trying to go out there and explore and just renew your zest of life. But you still can't help but to think about this person in the back of their mind, in your mind, and it's because they're stuck on you. So energetically, if in, within the last couple of days, it's just been hard, hard to get out of bed, hard to do the day-to-day -day things that you do on a constant basis. It's because energetically, someone's dragging you down and they're dragging you down with their thoughts. So you may have to do some cord cutting. You may have to, you know, put up boundaries, but someone thought that releasing you was going to be easy. And it's not every single day they're getting tormented somehow, whether it's by signs and synchronicity, whether it's by other people around them trying to tell them that what they did was wrong. And this person's falling into a depression because they have no way of handling the emotions that they have for you. Like I said, usually this person just goes and dr distracts themselves with other people, other situations. They go out and drink um, and just be reckless with their life. But they can't do that with you. The more they try to distract themselves, the more they try to run the more intense the feelings get, the more intense the memories get. They're being forced to look at their own actions. And I feel like this person is going to return to you at some point because they, it's becoming unbearable. There's